hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna try new blushes yes it right it is going to be the charlotte tilbury new matte wand blushes i am finally gonna try the charlotte tilbury beauty wand matte blushes so i have three shades i don't have the fourth one i got it from my own money i don't get any prs or anything as such so i'm just a small creator and i'm trying my best to do all the content i can so these are the blushes i have only three shades i don't have the pillow talk one because that is only available in store here in dubai you have it in store but i haven't like gone to the store and and i haven't gone like to the mall since almost a month and uh, i don't think i need like in every other shade i thought i'll just buy these ones which are like good to go if i need like the pillow talk one maybe i'll buy later on during eid i'm not sure but for now i don't think i want i i need that so we have blushes. all the three blushes so we have, so the, we have the pink pop which is this light baby pink color you can see the color which is on the written on the top then we have peach pop which is this beautiful peach color i don't know whether you can see then we lastly we have the shade dream pop which is this beautiful it is not exactly like too berry or reddish what is like in between so we have all the three shades so i wanted to do like a dedicated video to this because it needs one so we have all three shades we'll get into all the details of how to use it and what it is all about so i'll quickly tell you a few things so even you have an idea about it i'm very sure you must have seen all the videos related to it but i still wanted to do it I still wanted to try and do a dedicated video. So these are the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wand, and it is for forty-two dollars, and it is expensive. Charlotte Tilbury is this expensive brand, and here in Dubai, if you are in UAE, you don't get Charlotte Tilbury products ever on sale, ever on discount. Charlotte Tilbury website doesn't work here. It used to, I think, few years back, but I think after COVID, it stopped. And uh, in US, if you are in US, you get like a nice good sale on charlotte tilbury website but here you don't get and you need to pay like full price so that is a bummer i still got it because i wanted to try out so there are like four shades pillow talk pillow pink talk. talk pillow talk pink pop pillow talk peach pop pillow talk is out of stock <laughs> pillow talk dream pop i mean that rhymed really well so darlings dot dot blend and pop with my pillow talk beauty blush wand in a pillow talk pink pop to give your cheeks a beautifying pop of color inspired by my world famous beauty light ones my one dot wonder pillow talk matte beauty blush wands are universally flattering easy liquid blush ones that lifts and revive the look of every complexion so even these so shades are like universally flattering on every skin tone but we will see whether it is universally flattering or not as the same question applicators apply to the cheeks for a smoothing effect soft focus blush look dial up the dots for even more matte blush magic to use dial up the dots with the easy to use uh, cushion applicator apply to the apples of your cheeks you can use like one dot two or three depending on how you want to wear it and it is like a tip and people don't actually i don't think people read it before using obviously you need to read i am gonna read it so the quick drying formula sets in seconds so you have to like you know how you see people use it like they dot it everywhere and then they start blending first you need to like dot it blend it then do like the other dot so i think i'm gonna do that and see because it has like a very quick drying uh formula so let's see i think i'm gonna do uh one on each and then the third one maybe i'll do on both the cheek because i have done the same thing with the tart blushes first. as well so we'll so try, we'll try this the out. same way so this is the packaging this has 12 ml or 0.4 ounce i don't know how much it has to be i love the packaging of these ones these are like soft touch these are the matte blushes so the packaging is according to that it has like soft touch and i honestly love the packaging if you want you can even like put it on your vanity uh, because it has like such a beautiful packaging so we have the pink pop and we have the peach pop which is this beautiful beautiful peach color i don't know whether it is doing justice on the, whether my camera is like doing justice but it is a very pretty peach color and i love the packaging honestly very pretty and then lastly we have the shade dream pop which is this beautiful berry red color very vibrant actually we have this last color which is this beautiful like berry tone so let's see we'll try this out as well honestly these three together look so pretty very pretty 
So I, so I think I'll, I'll be like just a little bit closer because even I want to see how it applies on my skin. So starting with the first one, I'm going to do pink pop on the right cheek. So, so this is the shade pink pop. There's like an arrow here. So you have to twist it on and then squeeze out. You can see the product and then start using it. So I think I am going to do three dots maybe because why not? So I'm quickly just going to blend it. It is actually not even like showing on my skin that well. I've used like three dots, which is for like disco. But and I don't think this can be like universally flattering on every skin tone. I think I want to add more. Okay, I did. I like switched off some lights so you can actually have a better idea. But I mean it is showing but I need to build up like so much. And it doesn't even look that great on my eye. It feels like I have like some whitish cast on my face. I mean if you are like very fair. I mean very very light pale very pale i'm not too pale so i think that would look better but for me uh, it is actually not doing anything on my face and it is actually uh, not too matte pink pop doesn't really look good uh, the finish is uh, similar to what the foundation is actually because it is, doesn't look that matte but the pink pop is not at all showing on my face so anyways let's go on to the peach pop i think that i'm gonna use on my left side same thing twist it on squeeze it so you can see the product i'm gonna do oh my god the color is beautiful very very beautiful so okay this is nice and pigmented and i love the color this is how peach color should be wow this is very pretty i honestly don't even know whether you will be able to see but this is really pretty i think i'll add here to show you how it looks you can actually see now it's looking better when i've added like both peach on both the sides but the pink one is like not great at all i like the peach one and it is not even lifting up my foundation little bit here because i did like three layers so i don't think we need that and i didn't powder my face i just powdered my under eyes so it is actually not too matte actually like ends up how your foundation if your foundation is like a little bit glowy i think this will also look glowy and if a foundation is matte this will also look matte you can see it looks glowy here because i have like a nice glowy primer and a nice foundation below and i think i want to use the third one on top of this so we have the third one which is the shade dream pop twist it on squeeze i'm going to do two dots and see how this works because this looks pretty pigmented okay i think one dot should have been enough you have to actually blend quickly otherwise it is going to stay how it was okay this is like too much you just need like one dot for the dream pop because this is like pretty pigmented even the peach one is like nice for peach i think three dots is good for dream pop one dot is good okay i am nice and i love blushes and i have so many layers of blushes on this cheek i have like four this is the fourth layer so this is how the dream pop looks very pretty but i have so much of blush on my face anyways i'll just quickly finish off my face and i'll be back and then we'll do i'll give you my final thoughts and opinions and i'll just let it sit for a few minutes before like giving you my final thoughts so i'll just be back so yeah guys i'm actually back i completed my entire face i i know this lipstick doesn't go with my eye makeup but that's totally okay i was like filming a different video so now let's go back to the blushes and have a little talk about them the pink pop doesn't show on my skin it is way too light i mean it looks pigmented but as you start applying it doesn't really show up show our uh, show blah, blah, blah. doesn't really actually show up on your face which is not great so i don't know how this color is universally flattering on every skin tone as it is mentioned in the description of this product it might be good for way too lighter or pale skin but i don't know it doesn't really look good on me i don't think it will look good on medium skin tone or light skin tone i don't know it might look good for like medium skin tone or much more deeper than me maybe so i don't really know but it really didn't look 
good on me didn't really show up i did like two layers of this and with three dots but it didn't show up on my skin which is not great and it blended really nicely no doubt it is not too matte it actually finishes up uh, how do i even like frame the sentence i mean whatever uh, finish your foundation has this will reflect in that way it was like a nice glowy one so my I mean, obviously, I have like a highlighter on, but I I, I want to show you how it looks closer. You can actually see it is not settling. I mean, this side I have like four layers. So no, actually, this side I have like four layers. So you can see it is like bunched up here because I did like four layers, but it blended really nicely, no doubt. And this side looks much much better because I just have like two layers. Uh, but this side looks bunched up which is not good i didn't actually like the pink pop uh so i don't really know how it is going to work for like deeper skin tones i need to see like uh videos of uh, the people using this and what are their thoughts i haven't seen any reviews on this as such so i don't really know how it is going to look on other skin tones now going on to the other one which is peach pop i love this color this was very flattering and this would actually look and it is very pigmented that is for sure it has like a very bright uh peachy pop to it i mean if you have like a nice peachy look all together this would look really pretty but i uh, i really like this formula and i like the color as well not too matte and it is very vibrant i really enjoyed it and i think this will look uh, good on every skin tone now going on to the third one which is dream pop obviously this is what i had applied on both of my cheeks to make it like much better and look all together so this is a nice beautiful very pigmented color and this will actually look good on every skin tone and flattering actually on every skin tone because it is such a nice deep color and i just need like one dot with this because two was like too much for me and if for peach pop two dots were like good for me but in this one dot was really good six and seven dots still not enough but anyways i love the color and i really like how it looks on my face i did not powder my face and i had used it on top of my foundation I and used, i like, have any powder blush like, any as powder. well to set it it's had it has a like a nice matte finish and it is not like sticking on my hands it's like a nice matte finish so i actually want to use it on top of powder and see so maybe i'll try it on and maybe by the month end i will actually update you guys really enjoyed it but really not a big fan of this i don't think anyone would be because it's not showing up on my skin tone so i really don't like that beautiful packaging no doubt you can actually put it on your vanity on display because it looks really really good i honestly mostly got it for packaging but anyways i enjoyed it pink one could have been better and i would love to see like more shades i think the pillow talk one would look really good but i usually don't do like something like mauvey but i think i should try that out but i'm not sure when i'm gonna buy that but anyways guys this was actually all for today's video i hope you like it if you like the video please give a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to my channel if you want to i do have like videos on other social media platforms as well i do on tiktok instagram shorts everywhere now so uh, uh please do help your girl out and i'll see you soon in my next video bye